Just choose the best profile. <laughs> Hi, I'm Trish Withers. Hi, my name is Tony. My name is Ming. I'm Annette Stewart. My name's Sue. My name is Brian. My name is Chris, and this is my sixth year at Corumban Wildlife Sanctuary. I work here Wednesdays and Saturdays as a park volunteer and help with the visitors when they come in. And then I work with the koalas, so yeah, different things all the time. I really like animals since I was a little kid and I always wanted to work with animals when I grew up. So I'm a student at the University of Queensland. I'm studying Bachelor of Science in St. Lucia, Brisbane. So I drive down two days a week to volunteer here all day. I've been working here at Crumbin Wildlife Sanctuary for nearly five years. I help the wildlife keepers in their day-to-day -day routines of cleaning the animal enclosures, helping to feed the animals, also walking these guys, the dingoes. They're sort of wanting one now, I think. Everyone loves to interact with them when you walk around the park, and it's just so lovely just to see all the kids get so excited. Everybody wants to take photos. But all in all, I love everything I do here at the sanctuary. At Corumban Wildlife Hospital, I have been here for just over two years. I offer advice over the phones to members of the public who ring in that with a sick and injured animal. We receive over 10,000 calls a year. Could be lots of questions that they're asking for us or just advice on what to feed animals that they have found that may need a bit of assistance before they get here to us. Once they come into the office here, I present them into the consult room where I make them comfortable until they're ready to see a vet. I'm a volunteer with the Caribbean Wildlife Hospital and it's been wonderful because one, I got to learn a lot of new skills. Two, I got to know more, a lot, a lot more about the wildlife which comes in the hospital for treatment and as well as especially, of course, animals uh, which come in from the Caribbean Wildlife Sanctuary for their checkups. So it's been a real treat. Also involved with one-on-one -on -one work with visitors to the sanctuary, showing them things like phasmids and other animals and other attractions around the sanctuary. We visit quite a few schools in the Brisbane to Gold Coast to Tweed area and it's a really great opportunity for me to get back into my old career which was a teacher. I would encourage anybody to apply to become a volunteer here because it is such a privilege. I was very fortunate to be able to get into the wildlife section. I bring in food, give them a little bit of extra enrichment, pick up the dirty bits, <laughs> which always happens. But it's just, as I said earlier, a privilege and it's something I would never have been able to experience if it wasn't for Corumban Wildlife Century. Knowing that they're getting the best treatment here and then hopefully getting released back into the wild to where they come from is my favourite thing to see. To release them is awesome. I think at the end of the day, there's no one favourite activity. It's just the whole thing that you know that you're contributing. You know that you know whatever you do does make a difference to the lives of the animals, to the function of the hospital in providing such an important service to the wildlife. I've travelled a bit overseas and I've never had that sort of experience where I've been able to go up to a wild animal in another country and sit down and pat it and it's just, you, you can just see the look on their faces, they're just having a good day. And I just think as a volunteer, if you can just make someone that little bit more fulfilled about their experience here at the sanctuary, which is a really important part of the Gold Coast, if you can make their day a little bit better, that sort of makes me feel a bit better. I would recommend for anybody to join Harumban Wildlife Sanctuary as a volunteer. The volunteer programs welcome a lot of people, different genders and a lot of experiences. It's all welcomed, even if you only can do half a day or even give a $10 donation to the hospital. They do everything for free to pay back for all the good times that I had here as a child. And I'm fulfilling that twice a week. Love it. The volunteers here, I think, have all the same views that we like to take care of the animals. We like to better educate visitors with the animals and seeing the evolution that's taking place in here with all the new attractions that are coming up and the births. It's just a wonderful place to be and the people you work with are just fantastic. I work alongside a terrific group of people on all of my three days and um, couldn't do all this without their help. They're wonderful.